Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your January 2021 tarot reading. This is for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you're new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday, then usually again on Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. You could check a different part of your chart. Um, or you could even watch an older reading if the title speaks to you in some way. I did post 2021 tarot predictions. If you haven't watched those yet, you might enjoy that too. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to become a subscriber. And that will help you to know when new readings are posted as well. So let's begin here and get the advice for Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon rising and Venus okay so we'll do our tarot reading here then we will do an angel answers oracle card reading where you can ask a yes no timeline we begin here with the knight of pentacles the immediate influence is the fool now don't let this scare you you're you, this is not a bad card the death card is in your destiny the King of Swords is in the distant past. The Six of Cups is in the more recent past. Wow, nice. The Magician is coming forward towards you. You're represented here by the High Priestess. The person or situation you're dealing with is the Chariot. I got to point this out here before I go on. You have here in order 0, 1, 2. There is a strong message here for somebody. You've got the Three of Swords in your, um, oh my God, what a beautiful reading. Three of Swords in your hopes and fears, Ten of Cups in the outcome. Now, your clarifiers here, I feel like what they're telling you, you do have Temperance on the bottom too. I don't normally take three cards, but I'm going to. It's like they're telling you, be easy about things. Allow things to unfold for yourself. Allow yourself to be anything Pisces because you have such a beautiful energy coming into 2021. This is honestly amazing. I love to see card alignments. I absolutely love it because we're we're dealing with 78 cards here. So to have three cards in order, the three first major arcana, these are important because in the tarot, before we really begin, the fool, which is the soul's journey, splits off into the magician and the high priestess. Okay, there's a real message here, a deep message. This is big. I mean, this isn't some kind of puny, you're going to have a nice week ahead kind of a message. Um, I, I'm excited for you. So it's time to take a leap of faith with something, whether it's a love interest, a business opportunity. You've got victory and success all over this reading. Okay, whatever you're doing, follow your heart because your heart will whisper the truth to you. You truly in this energy can have, do, or be anything. The fool allows you to release all resistance. But the Knight of Pentacles brings in sort of this nice, stable energy. So you don't have anything to be afraid of. Jump forward, leap forward. You're living a life without limits here. The fool is all about, you know, being called by your heart to move forward. So if it's a relationship that you're you're wondering about here, um, you have somebody who loves you very deeply in this reading in terms of business or work. If it's like you've been in school or you've been trying to change careers in some way, it's going to bring great fulfillment in. I mean, you have a beautiful life journey here. Now, I didn't get into this yet, but you do have, um, you've got Sagittarius, Cancer, Taurus, Scorpio here. You've got water and air. You do have a little bit of fire too. And I guess you do have earth. You have all the elements. So the death card is truly a card of transformation. It is having a life that is transformative. And if you have a life, you have a purpose here. I don't, you know, I can't tell you individually why you're here, but it's to be meaningful. There's something very meaningful in this earth school for you. The death card is depict, depicted, the skeleton that's depicted here is your higher self. And the higher self says, look, we must die to be reborn. It's letting go of any limiting beliefs. It's letting go of any ego attachments. 
and knowing that there is a new dawn here for you. There's a new day, a new beginning, especially if you've had some heartache in the past. I feel like your trajectory is changing and it's really this joyful energy. So, you know, as you really look at the card here, the death of this, you know, this king here is really about the death of anything that holds you back. There's nothing to stop you with this energy. It, like I said, is transformative energy. So the year ahead, I feel like it's going to be an important one for you. And I know we're talking about January, but I do feel like it goes into, it, 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 it's creating this broader scope than just a one month timeline. So in the distant past, you have the King of Swords and some of you may have had to make a head over heart decision here. And I do feel like you had clarity though. I don't feel like there's any misunderstanding here or confusion about the decision, but it may have been a difficult one for you. And again, this could be like a year ago. It could have been around the time of the pandemic if you broke up with somebody or you left a job or it just feels like that. Like there was an ending to something here, but that ending's bringing such a beautiful new beginning. And it brings celebration, it brings victory, it brings joy. And it's like wish fulfillment is yours here. So with this, though, in the more recent past, you may have had um, uh, ability, it's not quite the opportunity is a better word for it, an opportunity to connect or reconnect with your family, with your friends. And maybe it hasn't been face to face. Maybe it's enjoying some connections over Zoom and kind of accepting that for now. Um, I don't feel like it's long term. I mean, you have travel here. You have really wishes fulfilled throughout the reading. So I don't feel like you're going to be stuck and stagnant into 2021. It's really your year to expand. Um, so with this, it, it also can be a reconnection from the past. So if you broke up with somebody, they may be coming back around. But I feel like it's lighter this time. There's this sort of overall healing energy, galvanizing energy, bringing people together and really loving each other. There's love here and happiness and it is a bit of a sentimental energy. So there may be for some of you, you open up an app, one of your social media apps and it gives you one of those time hops from eight years ago or 10 years ago and you get just a little bit of the wistfuls, a little case of that wistful energy but know that you can have that now. You can bring it forward now, and some of you are. So you have coming towards you the magician. You're, you can do magic here. He is truly a magi, and it's this powerful energy that we all have access to, but I think our own humanity can kind of keep us away from it. It courses through us, though. It's that energy to have, do, or be anything, to create your own reality. So, you know, so above, so below. And so as you look at all the flowers here, the red roses represent desire. The white lilies represent honesty, much like the garment that he wears. But these are also physical manifestations because that's, that is part of our humanity, that we have to see it, taste it, touch it, smell it to believe that it's here. Now, for some of you, you're getting into that understanding, belief, resonating with having the feeling first. And that's the secret to manifesting, having the feeling, knowing and having an unwavering belief that you are manifesting, that you are the creator. You have infinite abundance here. You have access to great potential here. And you also, in terms of relationships, you're moving forward with somebody here. And I feel like it's a relationship you've never had before. And, it, and I'm not saying it's not with the same person. It may be different this time, but the connection here is so strong. There is truly an eternal love here, and it's a love that doesn't die. So if you loved once, you can love again. If you were in a relationship with someone, you can recognize the where you fell out of alignment because this is being in total alignment with source energy. And when we end relationships, it oftentimes, if not all the time, is not a problem between us and the other person. The problem is between me and me and them and them. And it's falling out of alignment with source, not seeing life as source sees it. This is being in complete alignment, releasing all resistance, much like the fool, and moving forward with such confidence, grace, and 
again, this beautiful, powerful energy. So you, the, the fool splits off into the magician first and the high priestess. The magician is all about action and creating. The high priestess is about intuition and knowing. So they're telling you, quiet the mind through meditation. You also have it here with temperance too. Quiet the mind and allow yourself those energetic hits, those thoughts, those intuitive nudges that say, hey, go here, call this person, try this different coffee shop. And that's how you bring those desires to life, you know, by listening to that stuff, by following it. She's a psychic. She's an intuitive. And, psych and Pisces is a psychic sign. Now, I do want to point out a couple of things on the, on the card. She has these waves in her gown. So those are, they're, they're the waves that create the seat of the soul, okay? So those waves on the gown, as the gown drapes down and forward, it creates this pool in the cards. And it really is sort of this beginning of creation, this feeling of everything starts with you. It all begins with you and your relationship to the universe. She holds the book of Torah on her lap, the laws of the universe, the laws of life. So they are just trying to tell you, you are so powerful. Do not be afraid of it. Embrace it. As soon as I said that, it was 1111 on my timestamp. Just wanted to point that out. So the situation or person you're dealing with is the chariot. And it's as anything you embark upon will be successful. This is a card of great victory, success of gains. So if you're looking to, in this year, get into your best physical body, you're doing it. There's nothing that will stop you. If it's, you know, you need to join a gym, you're going to find the best gym for you. It will be like, I can't believe I didn't find it before. You know, if it's a relationship, it's a match, no doubt about it. And it moves forward in this way that's so easy. And it's, you know, it's got momentum, like I've said, but there's an eagerness to it. There's an eagerness and like this just wanting to just be in this energy. You know, there's no like, oh God, I got to text them back. It's like, oh, we we simultaneously texted again. You know, the chariot is all about bringing heaven to earth, much like the magician. The card depicts the celestial curtains at the top and then, of course, the earth on the bottom. It's really you creating your reality. Very strong law of attraction card. So who you are attracting may also be manifesting you. They may have already created you in their reality. They've already felt you in their vibration. They know that you exist. And it's just a matter of aligning with it, lining up with it. And there you'll both be. And I feel like whoever you're attracting, you're going to have a lot of things in common. Like it seems like coincidences, but it's not. It's really bridges of incidents that you've both been calling forward. So finding that you know so many of the same people, you've lived in the same neighborhood before, you've got, you had the same teacher in school, you know, it's things like that, where it seems like, God, this is weird, but it's not weird. It's the universe lining things up. The universe wants to interact with you and it's truly your mirror. You, your outside environment is a reflection of what's inside of you, of your thoughts, your beliefs, we become what we think about. And so any anything to do with this, this three of swords is in your hopes and fears. For some of you, there may be a little bit of nagging sense of doubt or fear, and you don't need to be afraid of anything here. Embrace these positive energies around you. You know, for some of you too, this can be acceptance of past disappointments and about really moving away from this energy. It may be here just to re represent that it's time with this, it's time to heal and it's time to move forward because the Ace of Wands brings new passion, a new kind of charge in your life. The Temperance card, of course, is all about healing and galvanizing people, bringing people together. And the Page of Wands is that cheerleader that says, take action because you can have do or be anything, Pisces. The Page of Wands is like your friend who stands at the finish line of a race that you've run, throwing glitter on everyone, holding up signs and cheering for you. I mean, the universe is cheering for you, Pisces. So we can't we can't stop now. The outcome of this is the Happy Family card. And this is a card of joy, of celebration, of loving your family, loving your life. 
being so appreciative of everything. It's also that rainbow after the storm. So if you've been through hell and back, you're done with being to hell. You're back and you're back for good. It is a new cycle. It's a brand new beginning for you. It's also a kind of a subjective card because your Ten of Cups could be very different from someone else's. So you might say, well, I don't want a family per se. I want a yacht. Well, there's your yacht. Okay, it's really your interpretation. And much like the magician, again, it's up to you and what your heart desires. But they're telling you, they're answering you. Ask and it is given. Knock and the door will open. It's a, You've got a beautiful energy here. This is probably one of the better readings I've had for you in a while. And even out of the 12 signs, I'd say there's, bount, there's bounty here. I get that. There's like this bountiful energy of prosperity and abundance and just pure joy. So great things are coming for you here in 2021. A very robust year ahead. So let's um let's do the uh timeline here for Pisces and a yes no kind of card here. We've got here remain positive. So if you have any little nagging doubts here, you don't need to be afraid or have any any kind of limiting thinking, okay? Because you've got energy here that's moving you forward. It's up to you. So we do create our own reality. Our thoughts become things. So it, it, they're right. I mean, it truly is up to you. If you have to change some part of your vibration, lift your vibration, find things that make you happy. The joy is in the journey, right? So you have helpful people. And especially with the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, and of course, Temperance. We've talked about that's people being brought together. So allow people to help you. If you have... You know, you've got travel here, but you also have movement. So for some of you, if it really is about like on that mundane level, like you've moved into a house and you need help with things like painting, put it out there and you'll be answered. You're ready. Okay. So you're ready to receive, be ready to be ready to be ready, as Abraham says. And they've given you this emphatic yes. I've gotten this a couple of times here in the last 12 readings. It really is a um, an indicator that you are the center of your universe. So you can have do or be anything here, Pisces. I love you and I'll be back again soon.